Yeah. And, and Rob, how about for yourself? You've been at it now for how long? How long have you been? Because you teach, right. correct? Uh, I've been dancing since October 98. I was actually inspired to seek out dancing when I saw the, uh, the Gap commercial <laughs> with the khaki dancers <laughs> okay. and the, the swing music in the background. Right. Uh, a lot of uh, dancers that started in the mid-90s uh, started because they saw that Gap commercial. Right. But uh, yeah, I, I've been dancing for a while. I learned Lindy Hop about 2002, and uh, I've been kind of learning and teaching ever since. And as a teacher, what I, I know we talked about progression and so on, but if you had a couple of key points for beginners, things that you would, would want to share with them, what, what might be one or two tips for new dancers? Well, the two most important things in my mind are frame and connection. Uh, uh, by frame, I mean kind of tone or muscle tone to your arms, uh, so it's it's not like real loose, mm -hmm. but has some some uh, some tension to it. Right. Tension's kind of a bad word in swing dancing, but uh, you do have to have some some resistance when when your partner leads you, and then uh, connection is uh, you're you're actually connected with your partner. Uh, Every surface of your body can be a lead surface or a follow surface. So two is one, the kind of cooperation that you need, a teamwork in, in, in that sense. Yeah. Zoe, you, you've been at it now for how long? How long have you been dancing? Well, the first Lindy Fix I went to was last February, and that was in February 2008. And right. so I've been at it ever since. Okay, so you've got a year under your belt. How about yourself as somebody who's uh, just started with it? I mean, for women, you know, is there something that maybe the women should know about that the men don't think about uh, as a dancer? Um, I don't think there's anything gender specific. Right. Um, but, you know, what I would say is that um, for me, the most important part is the music. Um, that's where my love of dancing comes from, my love of the music. And so, you know, um, that's that's really what got me started into the dancing. As far as uh, tips, I don't think I, you know, if you love it, you love it, you right. know, and if it's for you, it's for you. And a you'll and, seek and it out. And I noticed when I was at the uh, at the, the lesson and the, and the little dance that we did after Rob that I heard Bruce Springsteen music. <laughs> uh, yeah. yeah. Uh, what else, what other kinds of music work for, for swing dancing? Well, a lot of times you'll hear um, maybe Frank Sinatra, Ella Fitzgerald, um, a lot of big bands like um, Jimmy Lunceford, uh, Chick Webb, um, Count Basie, mm -hmm. uh, Benny Goodman, uh, stuff like that. But you also hear some like uh, some 50s kind of um, doo wop sometimes. Okay. Rockabilly. Uh, rockabilly, rock and blues. roll, Elvis Presley, uh, mm -hmm. blues. There's blues is really great to dance to. So it really works from a generational standpoint. Yeah. A lot of different. Uh, music from a lot of different generations that allows you to really to have the fun mm -hmm. uh, and to enjoy the evening. Well, um, you got a website, I know. We want to make sure we get a little plug in for that. What's the website for uh, learning more about uh, Swing in Buffalo? You can find out everything at uh, swingbuffalo.com. All okay. one word. Swingbuffalo.com. We've okay. got a calendar of events. Uh, we've got an email list you can sign up on. Uh, so there's lots of ways to keep in touch with what's going on swing dancing wise in western New York. Beautiful. Well we're going to take a little break right now. We're going to be right back. We're going to have some interviews that we're going to we're going to share with you uh, and get a real good intimate look at what is happening in the swing dancing scene in Buffalo. Be right back with you. Thank you. So what happened with Troy? What's up? So? I was wondering if you could help me with that home act project. So what's the project? How to make white bread? <laughs> <laughs> Why doesn't she ask one of her other friends? Yeah. Why don't you just leave? Sorry. Why you gotta be like that? Imagine the power of one voice. Find yours at freedomcenter.org.
Welcome back to Buffalo's Healthy Community Show. I'm Phil Haberstroh, your host. And during the first half of the show, we had the opportunity to talk with Rob Leach and Zoe Lavatelli, who are real strong proponents for swing dancing here in Buffalo. They were able to share with us their excitement, the joy, the passion, the fun, and the fitness that they get out of the experience, which is every Monday night over at uh, 220 Lexington. I got that address right, right, Rob? Mm -hmm. But now I want to take you into uh, some of the live tape that we took at the studio. Alspina and I were there. We shot some and we did some interviews and we're going to talk first here with Kate and Nate and they're going to share with you their passion and love for swing dancing. We actually, we actually met at the, the first UB dance, um, which is how I got started with swing dance. I've been dancing since I was two, three years old, um, but two years ago? Uh, yeah. Brian and Sharon, uh, two UB students, started the Swing Dance Club. They're actually married. And, uh, and the first dance that they hosted was, was when we met. We didn't start dating then, but right. that was when we met. But, but part of this is that you have fun and you make friends, and sometimes it even becomes yeah. right? a little more than that, right? <laughs> yeah. So, you know, and it's a great social activity. I mean, it gives it gives us something to do, right. uh, and it's it's a lot of fun. And the the bonds that you make with people and the connections that you make with people are are also really great. Okay, Kate. Now, one of the things, and and Nate, that we talked about is there's a lot of physical activity here, and you actually were trying to lose weight. You said. Yeah, I mean, it's just it's one of those things where you get to a point and you say, you know what, I'm not really happy with where I am, and I and I want to lose some weight, but I don't have time to go to the gym. It's just too much hassle, and I mean, this is something where it's really fun. You come, you dance, you don't feel like you're doing exercise, but I mean, it's really a great workout, and it really does help to keep you fit, and you don't even have to try. You just come out, and you have a really fun night with great people, and... And how about you, Nate? What do you think from the fitness side of this? Do you find that, that when you don't do it, when you come back, it's uh, tougher? Oh, definitely. I, over, over Christmas, I didn't dance too much. And these, these first couple times back is taking a little bit out of me. Because <laughs> it, it really is you know, great exercise. So even you know, I ran all throughout high school, and still it's, you know, you get, you get winded. But it's, well, it's all well, good fun. What I noticed is lots of footwork. So there's a lot of cardio work because you get the big muscles and the legs involved right. and flexibility. You're moving, using the different joints and everything else. But even there's a little resistance in there. Yeah, that's true. But the really nice thing is that you don't have to be in great shape in order to come and do swing dance. So I don't want people to feel like they, they have to go to the gym in order to come here and dance. I mean, you can come in any shape, um, you know, whether it's, you know, fit as a fiddle or, you know, like me trying to get somewhere you can come and you know there's a, a level of dance that's that's right for you and the nice thing about swing dance is you can have all of these different levels all in the same room Beautiful. so in a word fun and fitness at swing dancing yes. absolutely absolutely Great.